neighborhood community shout out. Yeah. Okay. Robert Schweers. Welcome to the neighborhood. And the life of Dana. Who could that be? <laughs> Welcome to the neighborhood. We've missed you so, so much. We're glad you're back. And yes, you have a lot of catching up to do, girl. A lot. Okay, and my question from yesterday was, what is your favorite midnight snack? Tanya Longley, Crunchy Cheese Doodles. I love those. Missy Harris, Cereal. I used to love to get up and have a bowl of cereal in the middle of the night. Okay. Too much work. <laughs> I would just eat it dry. That's easy to get a bowl out and pour it. Nope, too much work. Nonsense. I just want to go, ah, 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 go back to sleep. Bonnie Fazbear, crab chips. Never heard of crab chips. Justina C. Ben and Jerry strawberry cheesecake ice cream. This is not a very good question for, for me to be asking. <laughs> Destiny Swan, popcorn or cereal, or whatever's around the house that's salty or sweet. Greg Myers, Sara Lee's chocolate cream cupcakes. Bella Luna. My favorite midnight snack is something I don't have to make or heat up. Like leftover buffalo wings, cold pizza, lunch meat, and pickles. I'm diabetic, so it is never anything sweet. Sometimes I just like crushed up ice from my snow cone maker. I do make one mean crystal light 10 calorie snow cones. Pyro Nation Popcorn. Tanya Ray, frozen fruit like strawberries, blueberries, and peaches. Adam Perrin, I don't usually eat midnight snacks because I'm asleep, but if I do wake up and want something, it's usually something sweet. I'm just too lazy to get up and get anything. Terry Johnson, midnight snack, popcorn. Bambi S. I don't do many late night snacks, but would if I had a Kit Kat on hand. Jessica Kearns. Favorite midnight snack used to be chips and dip, but now I have some carrots and celery with a little bit of homemade dip. Joe Schmo. 65 by 2. Favorite midnight snack is anything sweet, but I usually just get ice cream. The Abyss, I can't have midnight snacks, but when I did, I would eat pizza. Pizza. Gaga's Little Monster. My favorite midnight snack would definitely have to be pesto on toast. Absolutely delicious. I would think so. That sounds pretty good. I don't even know what pesto is. I will have you watch one of Meet the Presley's videos where they were making pesto. Crimson Fairy, I have strawberries or a protein bar for a midnight snack. She, she just had the surgery that I'm going to be getting last year, and she's doing excellent. And that is it. Kevin, what would your midnight snack be? Well, I would normally want something salty like chips or stuff, but we stopped buying snacky stuff. Yeah, um... We did stop buying the snacky stuff, but sometimes I still want something um, to eat. So I, we have the imitation crab, and um, I have hard-boiled eggs, stuff like that, that I am allowed to eat on my program. I don't like to use the word diet on my program that I'm following. So I'll have some of that to satisfy me. So it works pretty good. And my question for today is, what's the oddest excuse you have ever used to get out of going to work or school? I died. <laughs> Calling in dead. Okay, 
If you're answering the trivia question, please answer it in a separate comment than in with anything else you answer because Kevin's been missing some of them because they're mixed in with my comments. So if you guys could please answer them separately, that would be great. Okay. Is that okay? Okay. And a special announcement I need to make. Um, T-shirts are limited edition, and they are going fast. There's only 14 days left to get your T-shirt. It is going to be a limited edition of 50 shirts made of that logo only. So if you guys really want to get that shirt, you need to do so as soon as possible because they are going fast. Okay, now it's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Honk, honk. Okay, so uh, last night's uh, movie was Screamers 1995, I do believe. And the question was in the opening scenes, what was this strange game that they were playing at uh, the very beginning? It was a chessboard kind of thing. Um, it was it's called uh, the Game of Or, or the Royal Game of Or, or sometimes called the Game of, of 20 Squares. It's a 20, it was from around 2600 BC. Uh, they said that um, the oldest one they uh, know of is from 2600 years ago from a, a tomb in Iraq. They know, still know how to play it because they found a, a 2000 year old cuneiform um, thing with the instructions. Yeah, Tanya said they still play it in Iraq today. They still play it in Iraq, and apparently so does uh, um, uh, Peter Weller. And some of really? I don't. I don't. Know. Just made that up. All <laughs> right. So the people. Uh, so the people who got that one right is Terry Johnson, Tanya Longley, Missy Harris, God Does Little Monsters, the Abyss Nine Two Eight Eight Two, Bambi S, and Greg Myers. Woohoo! Sorry for her. She's loud. I'm very wound up. I should not work out this late at night. Okay, since today is actually um, the anniversary of the Statue of Liberty coming to America, I uh, decided to use a movie in honor of that. So, 1968, doing Planet of the Apes, which commemorates the destruction of the, the uh, Statue of Liberty. Am I doing it right? I got yes, the right arm off. So, the question is, there is a scene where they, it's a history museum, and they keep showing this great big foot thing. Uh, uh, what is that? No. Okay. <laughs> there you have it. There's your trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you guys out there. We love you all very much. Thumbs up. Almost forgot, didn't you? <laughs> Thumbs up. Make sure you go by and check out all our other stuff. Duh. And we will see you all tomorrow.